The big picture question that we're asking is how do bats fly and what attributes of bat wings and flight performance can I mimic in trying to build my own robotic wings? I think bats are just really amazing, spectacular flyers. Their wings are extremely dynamic, so much more dynamic than birds or insects. If you look at the wings of a bat, they're just like our hands. They have all these joints that let their wings adapt into lots of different shapes, giving them a tremendous range of aerodynamic forces and maneuverabilities. They fly much better than anything we've engineered. Um, in many ways, anything we've dreamed of engineering. And I would just love to figure out how that works and then try to duplicate it. The overall research project has two components. One component is trying to study bat flight in terms of the anatomy of the wing structure, the real material properties of the bones and the skin, looking at the physiology, looking at the wing motions and the aerodynamics. And then the other half takes all of those different components together and tries to mimic them and build them into some sort of a robotic flapper. Throughout my graduate experience, I've become both a biologist and an engineer. I started off, during my undergrad, I was, had a strong biology background and I was more of a field biologist running around the jungle catching bats. And then when I came to graduate school, I wanted to study flight, which required a bit more of an engineering background. I needed to take the extra time to learn the engineering. The Graduate Research Fellowship gave me the extra time to really focus on that aspect of my education so that now I'm in a point where I am very much both biologist and engineer. Not only did we mimic the shape um, and many of the material properties of an actual bat wing, we also mimicked the, um, the motions. So the joints and everything were aligned in a way that they could move at the appropriate speeds and magnitudes so I would put the wing into a wind tunnel and flap it at realistic kinematics. I'm able to recreate the motions fairly accurately of the real bat wing, but to do so I have to use very large motors that weigh much more than a real bat. It really kind of tells you how spectacular muscle is. There's nothing else that's able to produce as much force or power in as small and light of a volume as muscle. I think in many ways our creativity and our imagination is limited by our inspiration. When I was building the robot, there was many times that I would get stuck, that something would break and I didn't know how to fix it. And whenever I came up against one of those walls, I was able to look to nature to see how they would fix it and take that inspiration and be able to use it to improve my own model and fix any problems. Other engineering companies that we had worked with, whenever they got stuck, they didn't have that same opportunity. Um, so eventually we were able to share with them the things that we had learned, having the advantage of the knowing both the biology and the engineering side. So there was a lot of things that I learned from trying to build a bat, and particularly the failures in trying to build a bat, that told me much about the biology. Our elbow kept breaking in one particular spot, and we noticed that the real bat wings are reinforced in that same area. So, so far I have not been able to produce anything that worked better than nature. The materials, um, that nature is able to produce and the motors that nature is able to produce are still so much more spectacular.